right, so today we are going to turn a heel on a sock. Today I'm working on these Christmas stockings and I have a main color, this uh, dark pink and then this light pink as my uh, contrasting color. If you want the pattern for these little stockings, you can find it in my blog for free. I'm going to put the link in the description below. Now the heel, I'm going to make it with a contrasting color, which is green. Uh, so I'm going to start with half of the sock. So on this front half, I still have my loops because I'm working with mosaic crochet. But on the bottom, on the back half, which is where the heel is going to start, there are no loops here. All right, if you are not working with mosaic crochet, if you're doing a regular sock, do not worry about that, all right? So let's find our first stitch in the back. So I have 15 stitches in the back, which is over here. So this is going to be my first stitch of the second half. And I'm simply going to single crochet across the whole of that half. So I do my chain. I like to tighten it so it's not so visible. And then I single crochet on every stitch. All right. So this is my back half of my sock, as you can see. I only do it on the back of this sock. So there are 15 stitches, there are 30 stitches around total. Now I'm going to chain one and turn, and I'm going to skip my first stitch and continue until one before the end. So skip the first one, and then I go until one before the end. All right, so I leave the last one empty and because I skipped my first one, I only have 13 stitches on this row. So then I chain one and turn. And now I'm going to do the same thing and I will single crochet until one before the end, which means that I will have um, 11 stitches, right? Because I skipped the first one as well. All right, so I am one stitch from the end and I skipped the first one, so I have 11. So then I chain and do that again. Skip the first one and finish one stitch from the end. All right, now I have nine stitches and then I do it again. I turn, I skip the first stitch and then I single crochet until one before the end. All right, so now I have a three at the top and I have that empty stitch and I skipped that first one, right? So instead of turning around now, I will continue and work that last stitch and I will work on this step and then that next stitch over here. So I will start closing off my short rows. So I have a four, five, and six stitches and then I turn around will chain one and turn and I will do the same again I will skip the first stitch and then I will work all the way around here work on the side of my step and then work on this empty stitch over here so I have one two three four and five. I have five because before I had six, but because I skipped the first stitch, now I have five and then six on the side of the step and seven on my empty stitch over here. All right. And then I turn and 
chain one, turn, and I will do the same again, work on the side of the step, on the side of the step, and then on this empty stitch. So you always want to finish on an empty stitch that was left. Skip the first one. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So I have six before I had seven, but I skipped the first one, so I have six now. And then I continue to the step on the side of the step. I put one single crochet there. And then on the side of this step as well. Eight. And then on that empty stitch. And nine. All right, so I have one more step over here. I will turn around and I work again on the side of the step, on the side and on this empty stitch. Skip this step, this first stitch. All right, so, so far I have 11 stitches, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 1, 11. So then I turn around and I have one more step over here that I need to fill in. Alright, so so far there are 10 stitches because of the one I skipped and then I will go on this side of the step and on this side of the step as well. Now I told you that you always need to finish on an empty stitch but here there are no more empty stitches because I've finished with my green stitches so I will stop there chain one and turn and I will continue to the next end working on the side of the step, the side of the step and then on the empty stitch. Okay, so I'm back here. I will do the side of this step and then here and then on the empty stitch. Okay. Now let's see how many stitches I have. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Great! So I have 14 instead of 15 because remember that first stitch over here I skipped it? Now this one counts also as a step. So I will work a stitch here when I do my next row that goes all the way around. And here I can just fast enough and cut, cut because I'm using a different color but if you are using the same color as your your sock you know you would just turn there and continue working in circles without any difference again you would turn and skip the first stitch but then on the next round you would work on that so let's let's imagine that I'm doing that okay I'm going to pretend that I am working with green so I would turn and continue working in circles, skip my first stitch alright so over here I have that step I left from before because I skipped a stitch right so I will single crochet on the side of the step now I have my 15 stitches and then so I would continue work on the next stitch of the silk which is this one so this is mosaic crochet that I'm working. So I will ignore the mosaic crochet and I will simply continue to single crochet just to show you what it looks like. 
if I continue in green. There are some chain spaces there that I use for mosaic crochet, but don't worry about it if you are not following my pattern. All right, and now I have gone all the way around and where's my first stitch? Oh yeah, I made a, a step right because I skipped that first stitch. So then I single crochet on the step and then I can join my round in that first stitch. And that's it. Or if I am not joining in the round, if I'm just working in spiral, I would just continue working in spiral just like before. But because I am working with a different color, I will fasten off at the end of my short rows and I will cut that yarn and then I will continue working my mosaic crochet pattern around the sock. So now it calls for me to go on the wrong side of my work and because there's that step over there I need to work on it so I do single crochet here and then on the next stitch okay so I'm reaching the end of my short row section All right, so this is my last stitch of the short rows. Now, because there is an extra step here and I don't want it to be there, what I will do is I will single crochet it together, those two, the step and the stitch. So I am not adding any extra stitches, but I am closing the gap. And then I will chain because that's my mosaic pattern, right? And I continue following my mosaic pattern. Now that single crocheted together that I did here, I only do it because I am working in this direction. However, if you don't need to do it, if there's no extra step there, then you don't need to worry about it. But because I changed yarn, and there is that extra step and I do need to close it but I don't want to add any extra stitches to the sock and I finish my round so I will slip stitch and join my round and there you go now the heel has been turned and I will continue working in the round. However, the sock will continue to grow in this direction. So if you look at it like this, sorry about all the, all the strands. If you continue it, if you look at it like this, it's a nice opening there. And that's how you turn your heel for the Christmas stockings. And you can use this as well for many other things. All right, I hope you found it helpful and uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions or feel free to email me at sandra at nomadstitches.com. Have a great day everyone!